Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. The word beta supposedly means that a product's not quite there yet. It's still baking. But we see the word everywhere these days on products that work, you know, pretty well to begin with, but they're not really considered final. I mean, they know that there are bugs inside the product, but the nature of software anymore is that we're in a perpetual state of beta. Um, so the word really means nothing, usually. And of course, pre-beta would be considered alpha, and uh, there uh, is, is much to be concerned about when a product says that it's in alpha stages, because usually that's very buggy. And some of you may like beta testing products, and I don't just mean getting a hold of products before anybody else does, I mean testing and looking at bugs and flaws and ways that these products can be improved upon. And if you fancy yourself a beta tester, someone who loves to give feedback, not just getting the software, I mean, you have to give feedback back to the developers. If you want to beta test software on the iPhone, the iPod Touch, you want to sign up for iBetaTest.com. iBetaTest.com. You can sign up for a profile. Uh, they're going to put you as a tester in touch with developers who want feedback for their products. You can choose what kind of user or developer you are. Um, and then you can start, once you know they get the system kind of moving along, start giving feedback to the developers. What's in it for you? Well, uh, free apps. I mean, instead of paying for apps when they are in final version uh, uh, in the iTunes App Store, uh, you can test them with the developer and they may very well, or they should, hand you a free license for doing that. I mean, as a courtesy. I mean, that's kind of nice. I mean, you just give yourself a few minutes and, you know, give the developers feedback, help make it a better product, and you can say, hey, I helped develop that. I mean, you may not have developed it directly. Maybe you're a developer looking for feedback for your products. I beta test dot com they just launched uh, so they're still kind of going through the process of getting everything connected uh, still it is certainly worth mentioning right now because I know a lot of you are like Chris how do you get a hold of these apps before anybody else does people contact me I usually don't reach out to developers developers reach out to me and I'm fine with that but I realize not everybody's in the same position so iPod and iPhone app beta testing at ibetatest.com I'm going to zoom out because I want to show you another website now this one is only for those of you who use Mac OS X. It's something that I heard about uh, it was approximately a month ago, and it's in the same vein as iBetaTest.com. This website is MacDeveloper.net. This is for Mac developers and beta testers for Mac OS X. If you're someone who loves beta testing products and you have Mac OS X and you're looking to get some free software, go to MacDeveloper.net. I have... Uh, Let's see here. Probably I've made $100 on MacDeveloper.net. Well, not directly, but I looked at the shareware that they wanted me to beta test. I'm like, oh, let's do this, 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 this. Uh, the author said, yeah, that's valid feedback. That's a valid feature. Okay, you're, you're accepted. And then after you uh, hit a certain amount of tickets that you submitted and been accepted, then you get the product for free when it's out of beta. So I've gotten $100 worth of products for free on MacDeveloper.net, including... Pathfinder. Now, if you're into Mac shareware at all, you know Pathfinder is the ultimate finder replacement. Blows the water. Blows the blows the finder out of the water. That was that was that that sentence there. That was that was actually in beta stages. There. That's why I kind of messed it up. But the good news about software is, as I said, it's in a constant state of evolution. If you're looking to beta test stuff for the iPhone and the iPod Touch, again, iBetaTest.com. If you're looking to beta test software uh, for Mac OS X, then check out MacDeveloper.net. It's worked out very well for me. Love it, because otherwise I either would have never heard about the shareware, certainly uh, not been able to get a free license for the shareware for providing feedback to the developer. I don't know if there's an equivalent for MacDeveloper.net for Windows users. At least I have not found one. Um, Mac shareware developers tend to be a lot more in touch with their community than Windows shareware developers. It's just been my experience, and remember, I've been looking at software since like 1990, a long time. So if you have another site to recommend that is valid and that can help put users in touch with developers in terms of feedback and free software, 
let me know. My email address is chris at perillo.com. I love developers. Sometimes they're a little frustrating to work with, but I love them when they listen to my ideas and especially when they give me free software for giving them feedback. Love it. It's one of the reasons why I love doing what I do. And if you're a geek and you love software, then you might want to stop by geeks.perillo.com and register. We're featuring a game of the day, Windows games, Mac games, stop by. You don't have to register to get the games. I'm just saying that we feature a game of the day now there at geeks.perillo.com. And we're typically talking tech in the chat room that's a part of this live video feed. Currently about 750 people are watching me talk about this stuff. I, I'm guessing they're also flying over to these websites and registering. That's just a guess. The chat room doesn't look active right now because we have it moderated. Because how many hundreds of people are in the chat room? I can't see the exact. Oh, about 400 people in the chat room. You can join us if you like this kind of stuff. I don't know what you're waiting for. We're waiting for you at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.